Hey, so it's me. I'm back responding to questions. Q and A. Alright. So, here in the comments pile of the inbox, has Shimmy ever dealt with addictions? How would you deal with them? It's from username Demo Morbux. You have an interesting icon uh, character for your, uh, what do you call it, your avatar. It's a, it's a redhead girl grasping a pile of money, it appears, wrapped in rubber bands. Yeah. My avatar is not that cool. Anyway, addictions, addictions. Uh, that's a very interesting question. Why would you ask that of me, actually, I wonder, first of all? But to answer your question, I'll take it seriously. I think that everybody is an addict to something. You know what I mean? Everybody enjoys something. Most of the time, people are addicted to stuff that makes them feel good. You might be wondering why I'm wearing a racing jacket, motorcycle outfit, or whatever. I got into bikes recently, about a year and a half ago, all right? That is my new 350-pound Japanese girlfriend, Jixxer 600, good bike. So I got some new shit in the mail, I'm trying it on or whatever. But that's one of my addictions, to answer your question, man, yeah. I'm addicted to motorcycles, uh, running, road race 5K, 10K, 10 mile. One mile, two mile, 800 meter, whatever. I like running, I like racing, I like going fast. Um, previously, it was auto racing. You know, it's a very expensive hobby. Please do see one of my older episodes, Shimmy, Ro Shimmy versus the World, part one or two, I'm not sure. I told a story about uh, uh, racing is a rich white man sport. I had an auto mechanics teacher tell me this in high school, so I did a story about that. But yeah, I got into racing pretty much because of that. So since I was like really... 18 or 19 years old I've been autocrossing and road racing and in the car world and now I'm just kind of into bikes or whatever because bikes are faster cheaper cooler you know whatever more engaging to ride I guess you know that's really what it is there yeah but uh yeah man what else I'm, I'm a running addict uh, I guess you could say I'm a weed addict I like to smoke me some good weed I'm a massage addict I'm a pussy addict like most men you know what I'm saying so it is what it is. I do whatever makes me feel good, basically. But um, I think that I have a good grip on my addictions. I mean, one of my addictions is actually this goddamn channel. I like doing this internet shit. I run my websites. I make my movies. I, uh, I do adult videos, for those of you who don't know. Look me up, Shimmy Cash, etc. Um, but those are my addictions, man. You could say that I'm addicted to making money. I'm addicted to traveling. I'm addicted to girls pleasure and shit you know what i mean but i think that i have a pretty good balance going on in my life right so i think that's the real key to not let any addiction overtake you or just consume you right like some addictions are more powerful than others but most addictions serve a purpose and it's like i got a theory that people i theorize that most people who like using myself as an example because I don't know how other people's bodies and minds function or whatever I think that I'm a lifelong addict I, I don't think that I'm ever going to stop running or wanting to drive fast or just do what I'm currently doing I mean I I like making my porn movies I like running I like I'm gonna continue doing heat cardio workouts uh, one interesting thing you guys might know about me I repeat the same exact workout like every day for this particular one it's been going on like four years in a row now you know it has to be that one particular specific video so that I guess that means I'm an addict to something I suppose or whatever right I like predictable outcomes etc I guess um, breaking this down even further I, I, I've done some reading on this topic because I, I like to study myself and how my brain functions or whatever right so I've learned that it's actually a cure for anxiety if you do something with predictable outcomes such as like some people might want to play a favorite video game but a specific level of a favorite video game where they know where all the characters are going to move and jump and dance around the screen or whatever people people that have anxiety tend to like uh, predictability and stability and uh, they like to know the outcome they don't like to roll the dice and see the chances of various outcomes and shit like that that would add to their anxiety so I guess you could say that 
um, one of my cures for anxiety is actually running every day and doing my little heat cardio workout and just doing my fucking routine. I mean, I'm very much a clock and schedule and timer oriented person. I pretty much do the same thing at about the same time every fucking day. So I'm an addict to that. Maybe I'm an addict to being punctual on the clock, even though I don't wear watches, etc. I don't know. I hope that answers your question. But yeah. I, and again, I don't, to reiterate, I don't think that all addictions are bad. You know, you, some people could be addicted to make, like I say, you could be addicted. Some people are workaholics. They're just addicted to work. They can't fucking stop working. They're not doing it for the money. They just want to work. They don't know how else to fill up their day, you know. But I have lots of ways to fill up my day. And I think that as long as you got your shit in control and you're personally happy, that's really the ultimate it should be the ultimate goal of all your hustling and whatever you you guys are doing you know it's uh in my personal opinion it's not so much what you do but really what you don't do that really determines a lot of your life's outcome like for instance i personally do not watch the tv news why i know they lie i know it's fake and i've been on there enough times and been interviewed enough times on various news channels and outlets to know that it's a total it's a total shit show it's a total uh, just like i make movies they make a movie except for they call their movie the news so i don't trust it or consume it or even entertain it or whatever it's been going on 10 to 15 years since I've watched the news on a regular basis. No newspapers, no TV, not even hardly on YouTube unless it's some foreign shit that I may somewhat halfway trust. I don't let a lot of bullshit into my brain. I'm not easily swayed or brainwashed or persuaded into shit because it's on some plastic box. You guys shouldn't be taking me as seriously as maybe I say I, you know, I'm like, take me seriously or whatever, but overall, at the end of the day, I'm just another motherfucker on your plastic box screen tube or whatever, right? I'm trying to keep the shit as real as I can here, right? So, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I'm an addict to creating my own media. I like to make my own world. That's my, that's my addiction or my hobby. But I, at the same time, I don't let a lot of other people's, whatever the world is doing, pretty much influence me to do what everyone else is doing. Very much so in my own person, man. I'm, I'm on some shit that most people wouldn't understand if I even tried to explain to you what I'm doing. So, whatever. And that's all because I basically like to travel and see shit for myself and make my own moves. And I don't, I don't let a lot of other people input shit in my mind that alters my plans, I guess. You know, does that answer your question or whatever? Has Shimmy ever dealt with addictions? How would you deal with them? I, I just have like the sneaking suspicion that you, you're like digging to see have I ever had like a drug addiction and the answer is no. No, I, I don't have an alcohol addiction. I don't drink at all actually. I mean I can but like I definitely don't drink beer. I don't habitually buy alcohol. I don't smoke cigarettes. I smoke maybe less than a dozen cigarettes my entire life. You know what I'm saying? I smoke weed. Okay, whatever. But I mean that's it man. What do you want? I sometimes I, I take testosterone, steroids, I work out, exercise, I like to be fast and strong and shit like that, so maybe I'm, a, I'm an addict to that. I used to be a cereal addict, like I used to eat a particular cereal called Crackle and Oat Bran. It was a very expensive cereal back when I ate cereal a long time ago, but I would go buy and like the whole shelf up all 20 boxes right to my house you know what i'm saying there's a reason why i'll tell you guys about that shit later on if you ask me if you care about it but i mean anybody can become addicted to any product service person routine habit whatever you know some people have a religious addiction they have to wake up and read the fucking bible every day and do chants and prayers and bow and whatever you know what i'm saying does that make them bad people or good people? No, it just makes them addicts to something else. Everyone's an addict to something. Addiction has such a negative connotation or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you could argue that, okay, I'm a sex addict. Okay, I'm a high testosterone man that just likes to run, jump, and fuck, and not sleep a whole hell of a lot. You know, I like to get on the bike and go fast. If it wasn't no snow outside, I'd be on that little motherfucker right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's coming. So anyway, yeah, man, how would you deal with addictions, man? How about you guys ask me, like, more specific questions next time? Don't ask me just some generic shit about, like, man, what do you think about the world? And uh, yeah, come on, man, fuck. 
I'm trying. So anyway, uh, if you listen this far along, uh, I got time right now, at least this particular evening, to answer people's questions. I might not be able to get back to this particular segment of the show for another week or some shit, but if you have something to write, hit me up below. Please make sure you subscribe first. If you if you write me a question and you haven't subscribed already at the very minimum, I ain't gonna help you, man. You, that's like a mandatory thing. Don't fucking ask me no questions so you at least subscribe. You understand me? All right, if you already have subscribed, ask me a question, I'll probably give you a video response. I do have the time for it currently, so who knows if you guys see this years in the future. Don't act me the same shit. Oh, you promised, you know, five years from now and shit, so take the offer while it's on the table. You know what I'm saying? This is a limited time motherfucking deal before I start selling my time for more, for real. So anyway, I'm Shimmy Cash. It's been real. Google me if you want to see my movies and other shit that I sell or whatever and support my work or whatever. And uh, if you like the channel, subscribe to it or whatever. If you feel like it, whatever. Fuck it. But I'm keeping it real. All right. So thank you for watching and uh, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good night. Ciao.